What is business like on a day like this? It's tough right now, and it's unknown. I think in the long run, it will sort itself out over a long period of time, but in the short run, it's going to be very choppy. And the places to look first, as, as Eric mentioned, the NCAA, the NBA playoffs, the NHL playoffs, the, uh, sports that are in the playoff run, that's where the money's made. That's the most profitable time of the year. So those sports are in the toughest position. Things like Major League uh, Baseball, they can delay the season. They can add double headers. They can extend the season. But those sports that are in the playoff front, it's going to be difficult. Lastly, the local uh, people in the communities. Sure. Restaurants, bars, people to collect tickets, security. Those people are going to be hit hard, too. So it's a very difficult situation. And at least the NBA has major TV contracts. Hockey, as I understand, I mean, they're making money from primarily who's in those seats. So, so losing this the, the era could be a huge blow. The matters more relatively to hockey than it does the NBA. March Madness, it's more about the TV revenue. But what's interesting to me is you notice the difference between indoor sports and outdoor sports. Obviously, George was an executive at NASCAR. So NASCAR and golf, they're going to still keep going just mm -hmm. without fans. Those are played outside. So maybe they think, okay, you're not trapped inside. So we'll see if they change their tune right. in the next couple yeah, of weeks. Think about, we, I was talking to an NBA team president today. It's three to five million in gross revenue per event. So if you have ten events a night, that's thirty to fifty million. And there's about doing three. ten home games left for teams. Right, right. and then you yeah. play three games a week. That's you know two hundred million dollars out the window on one sport. Then you put in the NHL and these other games. It's a meaningful impact locally. What about the NBA players themselves? So both for NHL and NBA, this will have repercussions on their salaries for next year, won't it? It will have some impact, but I think the the, the players, the TV networks, the leagues on the on the media side. That'll get worked out. I mean, if you have a $24 billion deal, you'll figure out a couple hundred million. It's the local market, the local teams, and the people locally, they're going to get hit the hardest. Do you guys hear anything from, you know, a lot of stadiums have now been financed by municipal debt, and I just worry about if, if gate revenues there are down. And I know they typically would have offsets, but not if you're not having large gatherings of any kind right now. You know, there's... I, I just wonder about kind of the ripple effects throughout the stadium financing market. I think for a couple of months, I think you, you probably work your way through it. If this is prolonged, 12, 18 months, that would be different. But I think over three or four months, you probably get your way through. What about, we know, I know your kids are college athletes, one in high school about to be a college athlete. How are they dealing with this? Because you're seeing the Ivy League canceled all sports. A lot of these college football programs are starting to shut down. How are you just dealing it from it's your own It's tough. You know, the, I went kids. to Brown. Brown beat the national champion Virginia lacrosse team. My best friend's dad, uh, son, is a captain of the team. All of a sudden, he gets a note. He worked all year to play on this team, and they're not going to play ever again. Right. It's his senior year. So I think what if you're a, a junior in high school who's being recruited and you have no season? I mean, I don't understand. It, it yeah. has these things have real consequences. So you know, having run a league before, you have to look at it from all aspects: the competitor, the state, the local government, your TV partner, sponsors, the health of your employees, the health of the players. It's a whole bunch of inputs, and you got to weigh them and make the best decision so, you can. And as you guys have said, the, the, the major kind of outlier right now is March Madness. There is so much at stake here for whether they cancel. As of right now, they're going to play it, but with no, no one in the stadiums. Is Which that is right? what a lot of the conference tournaments said a day or two ago. Exactly. And then all of a sudden today it was, okay, forget it. We're not even going to play empty. And, and it's a money thing because when you think about it logically, they have a TV contract for 2032. So, yes, it's $900 million in TV revenue. But over that length of a deal, I'm sure you can figure it out. So it's balancing the desire to collect the $900 million versus the other other issues. And I guess it depends on where those losses are going to come down. Who who would bear the losses, and is there insurance for anything like this? Well, I just think you could work it out over the course of your TV deal in the worst-case scenario. But people that are going to get hurt, all those facilities that are going to host the games, those companies that did the ticketing and hospitality packages, how does it work with the sponsors? I think it's less of an issue, really, for the NCAA and more of an issue for the people that live did, in the did, e did, ecosystem. Didn't one of your investment companies have something to do with Mercedes-Benz in did. Atlanta, and that's where the Final Four was going to be, I think, this year, right? And it's like, oh, maybe, maybe we need to go to a smaller venue. We right. don't need a football stadium if no one's coming. Anybody who's involved in the event business is going to take a hit. The question is, is it how, how pronounced is it long-term versus short-term? I just think it's the short-term hits, and really the working person is really going to get you know, Who's the, the security people, the ticketing Absolutely. people, the food service people, all those local small businesses, this is real revenue to them, and it's not going to be there. Yeah.